Hey, it's time for Last Night in the Loco on WHHI, powered by LocoSports.com. Area private schools hit the basketball courts this week, and the defending state champion Hilton Head Prep boys and cross schools girls are off to strong starts. But we'll be spending the whole winter with them, and it's time to prepare for another round of playoff football. The teams repping the Loco will be far flung Friday night as four area squads hit the road for win or go home matchups in round two of the South Carolina High School League playoffs. We still have two teams alive in the Class 4A bracket. The Hilton Head Seahawks survived a challenge from Crestwood at home last week, earning a trip to perennial power South Florence on Friday, while the May River Sharks hit the road to North Augusta in round two after a thrilling 46-45 double overtime win over Bluffton. In Class 2A, Hampton County takes the bell on the road to Manning for a matchup of top 10 powers after the Hurricanes blew by Woodland in round one. And Ridgeland reps the Loco in Class 1A with a road trip to Cross. The Jags rallied for a 26-20 overtime win over Scotts Branch last week. Then on Saturday, the Thomas Hayward Rebels head to their home away from home at Charleston Southern to contend for another Skiza 1A title. The Rebels pulled away in the second half for a 49-14 win over Dorchester Academy last week, earning a rematch with Williamsburg Academy, which handed THA its only loss of the season, 28-26 in Ridgeland on September 13th. The hoops action picks up this weekend with the Earl Campbell preseason tournament at Whale Branch featuring several area high school teams, as well as home games at the Cove for the USCB men's and women's basketball teams on Saturday afternoon. Join us tonight for Loco Pigskin Live and we'll break down every playoff game involving Loco teams Friday night. We're streaming live at 9.30 p.m. on the Loco Media Network. For Loco Sports and WHHI, I'm Justin Jarrett. Until next time, go Loco!